Hello everyone, uh, my name is Philip and uh, I'm a Cardano community member and an R Fund uh, scout for Revolto. Uh, and uh, today I will be talking about some of the upcoming upgrades to the Cardano network, to the Cardano blockchain. So our goal with these videos is to kind of increase awareness and educate uh, our community about uh, developments in the wider ecosystem and how we as a project will follow them and implement them in the best way possible for you guys and for us. Uh, so, um, as we all know in the, in the blockchain space, um, almost all of the current uh, blockchain projects are in development. The whole technology is relatively new. Uh, all, all the blockchain projects, uh, you know, there's a great expectation from all of them and uh, a lot of promises about future, you know, deliverables. And Cardano is no exception. Um, so uh, Cardano is currently in its basho phase. Uh, which will tackle scaling mostly um, and we will discuss uh, some of the scaling features here. Uh, uh, as well we, we see that the DeFi setups are now starting with some of the DEXs. Uh, we hope to have soon some um, micro loans, uh, loan management, things like that. And uh, we need the following infrastructure to support that. So we're gonna go through Hydra first. Uh, Hydra is actually uh, an Ouroboros uh, consensus algorithm upgrade, uh, which will introduce isomorphic state channels, uh, something reminiscent of the, of the Bitcoin Lightning Network. Uh, so state channels uh, will enable, uh, let's say, a way to settle uh, a little bit away from the main chain. So uh, the idea is to have a subset of stake pool operators who will have uh, uh, fast settlement, very cheap settlement, and then only the final settlement of those microtransactions will be settled on the main chain. This is like a very simplistic explanation, but that's kind of the idea. Uh, you take a lot of settlement of the main chain, you do it kind of on the side, and then just put it back on the, on the main chain when and uh, how it's, it's suitable. So it's a TPS increase, so transactions per second increase. Uh, actually, depending on how much of these state channels will be opened, the, the TPS can be radically increased because basically any of these Hydra heads, as they are called, can, can do fast settlement and have an exponential growth, basically. As, however many Hydra heads you have, you can have more and more transactions per second. Also, the fee costs on, the, on Hydra should be drastically lower uh, because it doesn't require as much uh, you know, computation, as much resources, and it can all be bundled up and settled on the main chain later. Right, so uh, what does that mean for Revuto? Right? Well, of course, if, if you have lower fees, if you have uh, faster finality, this is all, you know, good news for us. We need, you know, as, as much uh, flow of transactions as possible. We hope to scale to as, as many users as possible. And of course, we want to do it cheap, as cheap as possible for our users and for ourselves. So it's obviously a, a no-brainer to, to one day participate in that, in that technology. Uh, next thing, uh, what we have is uh, JED or basically uh, any other stablecoin. You know, stablecoins are kind of the, a necessity, a very foundational thing in any DeFi setup as, as well as ours. So uh, what, what stablecoin is, is basically a cryptocurrency that is simply pegged to a value of either fiat currency, a basket of fiat currencies, or some other asset, let's say. So JED specifically is an algorithmic stablecoin. 
So it, uh, it uses some kind of an advanced math where it pegs its own value to a basket of currencies or, or a single fiat currency. Uh, what does that mean? Right? It, it means that, as with any other stablecoin, you can limit your exposure to cryptocurrency volatility if you keep your crypto value inside a stablecoin. Right? So you're not, you're not being volatile again, you're not being, um, you know, you're not being exposed to different news or any, any other volatility related to, to cryptocurrencies. It gives a cost predictability for us as a project, uh, because with the implementation of our mi micro lending protocol, uh, it will be much more predictable for us to cover the back-end expenses of uh, providing liquidity and of uh, topping up the, the virtual debit cards in the back-end. And for the users, uh, if you provide liquidity to our pools, you will get stable rewards. Uh, regardless of the collateral that you've put into the liquidity pool, you will be rewarded in a stable coin and you will have a pre predictable amount of rewards of income coming your way. So that is something that's very important in a lot of DeFi setups and of course in ours as well. Uh, the last thing we have here is Babel fees. Uh, Babel fees uh, is, is uh, I would say a novelty in the blockchain wider ecosystem. It's a way to pay for transaction fees in native tokens. So uh, maybe you prefer to not have ADA or not to be exposed to ADA. You really want to only be exposed to Revu or to some other native token of, of your choosing. So Babel fees would be a, a way for you to only hold Revu and to pay for all the transactions on Cardano with Revu tokens. Uh, now, this includes cooperation and collaboration with SPOs because SPO needs to decide if they want to accept the payment for the transaction in a native token. Right, so that is a way for SPOs to get included in our project. That is a way for SPOs to have another source of income that's maybe decoupled from ADA or from any other native token. It's a way for maybe smaller SPOs to have uh, more income coming their way, to promote themselves, to be more active in the community. So this is in short some of the upcoming upgrades that we're keeping a keen eye on and uh, we're looking forward to see the development and to see the uh, implementation on Cardano and implementation of these features in Revuto app as well. Please, as always, uh, post your questions below, your comments, uh, tell us what we missed, tell us what other upgrades you're looking forward to on Cardano and that you would like to be included in Revuto. We will be more than happy to hear your suggestions and to find ways to increase the functionality and to increase the, the benefit for all our holders and, and customers. Thank you very much.